God bless you. It's Saturday, the anticipated time to get the letter, the Eagles gathering together from Brother Joseph Branham. It's October 24th, 2020. What a day this is. Hallelujah. I was just hearing the tape on the voice radio and Brother Branham talked about David and how he was how he was so happy and filled with the Spirit when the ark of the Lord was coming back to the house of the Lord. I thank the Lord today. I feel like David of old. I feel like a holy roller. Hallelujah. This is a special day. Hallelujah. Dear sweet bride, we're getting into the honey plumb up to our elbows and having the greatest revival the bride has ever had. Every message we hear refreshes our soul and takes away all doubts, all fears, anything Satan throws at us. Why? because the realization that God's own life is living within us. We've become a part of God. We are sons and daughters of God with Iona's life. Nothing can stand in our way. Whew! What else did our guide tell us Sunday? God breathed the life into our nostrils and we become a living soul a soul that can't die. We are the mystical body of Christ, born by the very breath of God, and His life automatically flows from us. We are a unit of God, sealed with the Holy Ghost. The prophet also told us of a great vision he just had. We believe all visions the prophet spoke to be, Thus saith the Lord. Thus it must come to pass. I believe we are a part of that vision he spoke about, and we are seeing it come to pass before our eyes. Once again, sorry, once again, thus saith the Lord confirms what we're doing by staying with the tapes to be the perfect will of God. Let us read it again and see just what he said took place. Brother Branham said, I was standing in the sun, preaching the gospel. The sun was shining down on them, just here and there getting it, getting the word. I preached so long until the congregation became hungry for physical food. They just got up and went out to get some food. I said, don't, don't. I had two climaxes. The Lord had gave it to me. I was watching myself do it. I was standing there looking and watching myself preach it. I noticed the people began to get like they was physically hungry. Just a minute, friend. Just a minute. You'll be back when the evening shadows fall. But let me give you this first climax. They are in the word of God. They are thus saith the Lord. My commission is to stay with the word. What's the matter with all of you? Can't you understand the word? You must understand it. If they want biscuits, let them go. Go get them. Everyone be back tonight. So here is what I'll do. The shadows is going to fall. After a while, then that congregation gathers in again. I'll put the climax to them. I'll background. And you know, 
the way I do it on those church ages and things, say what I said before. Brother Joseph continues, glory to God, we are now living in the evening shadows and he is bringing the second climax. Hallelujah. I'm sorry, I added hallelujah. He is backgrounding what he said, and we are hearing it by pressing play. It is giving the bride the rapturing in faith and restoring back the ones that went for the biscuits. Let us join together at 1 p.m. Jeffersonville time as God provided messenger for our day backgrounds the church ages as we hear the revelation of Jesus Christ 60-1204M. Remember, it was a vision. It is, thus saith the Lord. What did he say would take place? Brother Branham said, I will background it on the word and then this great marvelous climax. What a time it'll be. Praise be to God, Brother Joseph Branham. The scriptures to read in preparation for hearing the message tomorrow at 1 p.m. Jeffersonville time. The streaming on the Branham Tabernacle uh, streaming website on the screen now will be in French, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, Norwegian, Romanian, and Russian. On the Sierra Vista Fellowship that's on the screen now will be the remaining languages from around the world and also the gap tapes that are available for tomorrow's sermon. God bless you. And we're going to put a link here to a previous video. It'll be down in also in the description below. Open up the description and you can click on it. And it'll be a previous video that we have of, a, of the cloud at sunset where Brother Branham talks about his second climax commissioned. If it was a blast, it would have got Joseph too, because there he is still talking, thinking I'm there. I can hear him. It was not. Now, this is all still in the vision. It wasn't. See, it's in the vision. And then all at once, as I realized that I had been, they were around me. I couldn't see them. But I've been brought into this uh, constellation of a pyramid of them. Inside this constellation of, of angels, of five. And I thought, uh, death angel would be one five would be grace I was thinking that I thought oh it's the, it's coming with my message that's my second climax they're coming to bring me the message from the Lord and I screamed out with all my might as loud as I could oh Jesus what would you have me do I want you to hear that don't listen just a minute or two and just be impatient Listen to the entire quote. Listen to it. it. Your life depends upon it. 
And we know that the message on these tapes are for the Bride of Christ now. And you are a part of the Bride of Christ if you listen to and hear the angel of Revelation 22:16, Because Brother Branham said that the people of verse 17 of chapter 22 of Revelations, they, those are the ones that not only accept that angel and that messenger, but they hear him. And we thank the Lord that you hear the voice of God to us in our day, and you are the part of the bride of Jesus Christ, identified in his word. God bless you, and shalom till next time. Amen.